October 8, 2021. Pag-asa sa kaalaman at kinabukasan ng ating kabataan. Sinimulan na sa tatlong eskwelahan sa Masbate Province ang pilot run ng kauna-unahang limited face-to-face classes ngayong school year 2021 noong November 15th. Pag-asa sa ating kalusugan. Kung ayaw nilang yeah. iwas, isipin na lang natin na okay, huwag nang mapagdaanan itong COVID na ito kasi oh, okay. mahirap ito. Higit sa lahat, ang pangwalang hanggang pag-asa na mayroon tayo kay Kristo. Siya ang Diyos ng pag-asa at nananatiling tapat kailanman, noon, ngayon, at panghabang panahon. Tayo, ang CARE 104.3 The Way FM, 48 taong nagbabahagi ng pag-asa mula kay Kristo sa ating mundo at sa iyo, kaibigang Picolano. Check, it's 1.30 in the afternoon. Kaalaman, karunungan, kasanayan, ating pagyayamanin sa likod ng pandemya. Sa Paralang Bayan, sa Himpapawi, kasama ang mga guro ng Daragaan National High School. Welcome sa ating program para lang bayan sa Himpapawi dito sa CARE 104.3 The Way FM. It's Friday, it's uh, June 3 and ang ating pong uh, subject tuwing Friday, uh, we cater mga students sa senior high school. So ang mga subjects po natin ay para sa mga senior high school students. Ako po pala si Clarence Faith at kasama natin ngayon si Ma'am para uh, gabayan tayo sa ating pag-aaral. Si uh, Ma'am from the Raga National High School, Ma'am Mary Grace. Good afternoon, Ma'am. Yes, Ma'am. Good afternoon mm-hmm. po. And uh, syempre, Ma'am, uh, kayo po ang magiging teacher natin sa ano pong subject? Uh, contemporary Philippine Arts from the regions po. Mm-hmm. So, uh, uh, sa ating pong mga listeners and viewers, uh, inanyayahan po namin kayo makinig from 1.30 to uh, 2.30 in the afternoon para sa ating first subject. At mamaya po, meron pa tayong uh, abang ang another subject naman sa paaralang bayan, sa Himpapawid. So, ngayon po, ang ating pag-aaralan kasama si Ma'am ay Contemporary Philippine Arts from the Very different rich. regions. Yes, Ito po ba ay under uh, anong subject, Ma'am? Mape? Um, actually po, Ma'am... <laughs> Pero, pwede ah, po in okay. mape. Ah, Pero mm-hmm. sa ano po namin kasi in senior high school this is actually uh, considered in the social sciences. Ah, under social sciences. Po. So, ito po ay subject para sa mga UMS students. Yes po. Ma'am. So, ayan ma'am, may nakikita na po ako mga UMS students kasama natin sa Facebook Live. Yes, Baka po, po gusto niyo po silang imbitahan pa manood oh. sa atin. Mm-hmm. Uh, hello and good afternoon again to my dear students from UMS and all the students of the Raga National High School. Yes, and uh, aside from uh, students from the Raga National High School, pwede din po mag-join sa atin ang mga students from different schools. So, pwede kayo mag-participate sa mga activities na ibibigay ni Ma'am. And if you are listening via radio, you can text us sa ating pong mga contact information. Pwede din po kayo mag-online sa ating um, Facebook page, Care 104.3 The Way FM. At manood din po, pwede din kayo manood sa ating YouTube channel sa Care 104.3 uh, DWAYFM. So you may also text us at these numbers, 0946-763-9858, at 0915-931-7184. And uh, a few reminders din po ang ibibigay sa atin ni Ma'am before we go to our lesson. Uh, opo ma'am, uh, as of now po, uh, we need, kailangan lang po na tandaan ng ating mga students um, about this acronym na CIPAR which is Create, Participate, 
acquire new learnings in the subject with our favorite radio station, 104.3 D-Way FM. Wow. So, Ang ganda ng <laughs> abbreviation, ma'am. Pwede yes, ulitin po. natin, ma'am. Create, create participate, mm-hmm. acquire new learnings with the help of our favorite radio station, 104.3 Care The Way FM. Wow. Yun. Ikaw po mamang gumawa yes, niya. Yes po, ma'am. Ang galing ni ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> so, yan. Uh, wag natin kakalimutan niyang SIPAR. Yes uh, po. Uh, all throughout our broadcast this afternoon. So, yan lang ang uh, reminder ni ma'am. Madaling tandaan. Create, participate, and uh, acquire. acquire learning from our favorite radio station. <laughs> yeah, so... <laughs> si <Porna yun. laughs> so, sa ating po mga listeners, handa na po ba kayo sa ating uh, lesson for the day? Nadadalin sa ating mga Mary Grace. So, here we are sa ating pong lesson for the day. Lesson for the day. Oh, ready ka na bang matuto? May module ka na ba? Ballpen at lapis. Narito na ang ating lesson for the day. Okay, again, um, good afternoon to all the grade 11 and 12 learners. Get ready for this new learnings experience in contemporary Philippine arts from the regions. Make sure that you have the energy and enthusiasm as we discuss mm-hmm. our lesson. So, handa na ba kayo? So, mm-hmm. let's begin. So, our lesson for today po is all about the fourth module of Contemporary Philippine Arts from the Regions entitled The Bits and Pieces of Contemporary mm-hmm. Arts. So, before that, we have to give the objectives of our yes, uh, uh, subject. Mm-hmm. So, you are expected, the learners are expected to evaluate contemporary art forms based on the elements and principles. So, mm-hmm. ano ba to? The number one is that we have to identify the different elements or, f- or principles of contemporary art forms. So, yung pangalawa, we have to discuss or we have to determine the elements and principles of contemporary art forms. Mm-hmm. And the number three is that we have to evaluate the contemporary art forms based on the elements and principles. Ayan. So, yun po yung tatlong objectives natin for today, ma'am. Mm-hmm. So, let us now have the definition, what is really a contemporary art? Oh, okay. So, ang contemporary art, ma'am, is a term basically used or refers to the art made and produced by the artist living today. So, this ah. is actually a definition of coming mm-hmm. from the mm-hmm. Jaipal Jetty Museum. So, mm-hmm. sinasabi po kasi today, ang artists are very... Uh, uh, very responding into the global environment. Mm-hmm. Yung tatlo, uh, culturally diverse, technologically advancing, and multifaceted. Uh-huh. So, iba-iba na po kasi ma'am yung lumalabas oh, ng art forms Tama. today as of today. Yes. So, with mm-hmm. this kind of definition, you can actually picture the kind of art created by the contemporary artists as art that has has this what you call a uh, world's view mm-hmm. and even reflect into the sensitive changing of time mm-hmm. so we have to working within wild and rich mediums contemporary artists often actually reflect and comment on modern day society mm-hmm. because contemporary art today is not restricted into sabi nga natin is not restricted into an individual experience mm-hmm. but it is reflective on the world that we lived in so kung ano po yung nandito and mm-hmm. available mm-hmm. na nakikita ng ating mga artist yun po yung ginagawa nilang um, oh, as a medium inspiration oh, to create mm-hmm. a very good art oh, so oh. yun po so because of art is produced by the people and actually people are influenced by time contemporary art is continuing practice that has evolved with the following elements or principles mm-hmm. so yun po yung pag-uusapan natin as of today so before that before we start and uh, we discuss the uh, elements. the elements uh-huh. Uh, I have here po a um, uh, pretest for mm-hmm. my students. So this is the uh, identification of the elements and principles of arts. Okay. So yung mm-hmm. una po is that 
uh, they will identify if what kind of art is being referred in the number one question. Mm -hmm. So number one is that it refers to an art form that is performed and positioned in a public place. So yun yung number one. Number two, it refers to a, usa a usage of unconventional materials to produce an artwork. Number three, it refers to the art that combines past from the present. Mm -hmm. Number four, the contemporary artists have used video and internet as a way of propagating art. Mm -hmm. So number five po is flash mobs is an example of blank artwork. So they will just identify po. The, the choices are already there po, ma'am. Okay. So they will just type the uh, answer in the comment section para po makita natin kung ano po yung nalalaman ng mga bata mm -hmm. with regards to the elements and principles of contemporary art. Ayan. So po, itong limang items na nabanggit ni ma'am, ang pagpipilian niyo po para sa ating mga radio listeners ay ang mga terms. Una, performance okay. art, hybridity, appropriation, technology art, tsaka space. space. Uh -oh. Opo, yung lima po niyan. So, let's have po the answers, ma'am. Yes. Uh, may mga, mga nag-answer na ma'am. Mabilis sila mag-answer. So, basahin ko lang ma'am yes, mga ma um, sagot ng ating mga very active uh, students from UMS and uh, mm -hmm. from STEM, meron ding from EIM at wow. iba pa. May ABM students din yes, na nanonood. Po, po, po. So, hello sa inyo. Uh, itong sagot ni John Romeo Galan. Uh, sinagot ah, niya si Galan. na ma'am from 1 to, 5. 1 to 5. Meron po, ding answer si Joshua Cor Corpus, uh, Daniela Victoria Mayor, at po, si po. Hazel Bataan and Bataan. Rika Mal Malia. Mm -hmm. Opo. So itong sagot nila sa number 1 ma'am, performance art. Performance art. So maybe we could uh, we should reveal the answers for it mm -hmm. ma'am. Ma so the number mm -hmm. 1 answer is performance art. Mm -hmm. So tama po 'yon. And the second is hybridity. Mm -hmm. Ang pangatlo po is appropriation. appropriation. Very good for that Hermi mm -hmm. Militante. Number 4 is hybridity. And number five is space. Yes. Okay. Yung number four ay technology. Technology art. art. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ano mali ata yung ano. Anyway. So at least this is actually a pre-evaluation uh, for them for what are uh, what actually they know about these mm -hmm. elements and principles. So mm -hmm. again, still congratulations for those students who got it correct. And for those who do not got it correct still congratulations pa din. yes so okay. all right so therefore ma'am we already mm. give the five elements already mm. kanina so these elements and principles of contemporary art are appropriation performance art space hybridity and technology, technology art. art so ano ba tong mga elements mm -hmm. na to. Ano-ano po po ang kanya-kanya nilang description. So, we have here the appropriation. Mm -hmm. O, oh, ito ba ang napapanahon to? Kasi uh -huh. usually, uh, some of my students actually wear this kind of um, shirts oh. and even styles uh -huh. po. So, this appropriation po is an example of an art that uh, some of the icons or some of the... Um, uh, pre-existent images mm -mm. yung mga na, matagal na and Sikat then they combine oh. it into present existing art mm -hmm. this is what we called appropriation uh, so as you can mm -hmm. see it man if we could actually uh, 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 explain or show the picture of this kind of uh, appropriation uh, example of appropriation art yung t-shirt po mm -hmm. nakikita niyo po oh, nakita niyo ah, si yes. Jose Rizal oh, oh. so ginawa po siyang parang uh, a sort of napapanahong art mm -hmm. ano so linagyan niya po ng <laughs> ribbon and then um, parang oh. in, 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 innovate oh, oh, nirecreate into, oh, oh. Nirecreate into new mm -hmm. style ah. oh, so this is actually an example po of a appropriation. Okay, so yung existing na mga arts, like let's say ma'am, yung mga popular arts noong unang panahon, oh, po. or even po pala even, mga icons, yes, po. Oh, oh. pwedeng makonsider na appropriation kapag ginamit pa din yung same image from the past, 
pero minodify po. Yes po. Ah, so, ganun okay. po yun man. That is mm-hmm. actually a appropriation po. So, there are some examples pa po nung um, this existing uh, art. Uh, like yung uh, yung yung sa scream. Kahit po ina-canvas, mm-hmm. they actually create a new image of that. So, this is example of appropriation mm-hmm. na rin. Yung um, tawag dito, yung Starry Night. Uh, ah, oh po. Yun, ginawang yung minodified painting. again mm-hmm. yung painting. So, additional a kind of Paano yung ma'am yung parang yung painting pinagalaw-galaw na siya? Appropriation pa din po ba yun? Yes po. Basta mm-hmm. po yung ginamit or ginamit is napapanahong mm-hmm. uh, issue or uh, revision mm-hmm. is ngayong panahon, so, yung present. present. Opo. Mm-hmm. So, this is actually a combination from past into present that revives interest to existing forms of mm-hmm. art. Yes. So, ayan, an example natin si Jose Rizal. So, though kahit na wala na po siya, still rinivay siya, mm-hmm. binigyan buhay in, into a new yes. style. Mm-hmm. Opo. So, at least, nandyan pa rin yung <laughs> image or icon ni Jose Rizal. Mm-hmm. Okay mm-hmm. po. So, next po is the, uh, yan, yan po mamin sinasabi ko kanina. So, yan po yung example, yung Scream, ginawang Simpson, mm-hmm. yung Starry Night na canvas, ginawa pong Batman, and the um, Mona Lisa. So, ginawa po yung ginamit yung sa Lego, mm-hmm. uh, uh, yung laruan po, ah, magayan ma'am. Okay, so, Ma- yan po yung mga mm-hmm. kind of example of appropriation. At the same time, yung mm-hmm. canvas nung, the girl Mona with an Lee. ear. Uh-oh. Okay, so Ay, parang ba ba ginagyan yan? lang po ng ano, siguro ginamit po ito sa ano, sa advertisement of mm-hmm. a, a certain camera. So, makikita niyo ma'am yung example, yung hawak niya is a camera po. Oh. So, that is actually a revision. So, it's not of, really ma'am unethical to do that sa isang existing artwork uh, like minodify mo or parang gin, in, nilagyan ng humor. Opo. As uh-huh. long as sa akin mm-hmm. po ma'am, in 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 a form of artist mom mm-hmm. uh, we have this what you call the expression ah. of how uh, we deal or how mm-hmm. we actually uh, put on in the image mm-hmm. or how do we do it mm-hmm. kumbaga sa atin na lang in how uh, we actually explain or how mm-hmm. do we um kumbaga gamitin natin or mm-hmm. maintindihan natin of or what the uh, artist is going to express wow. by showing that revision of art. Um, paano ma'am kung yung ginamit nila is like a copy of the original? Uh, wala naman po bang copyright issue? Wala yun? naman po <laughs> siguro. Na. Oh, po. Wala naman po ganun ma'am. Kasi oh, oh. this is actually a revision. Mm-hmm. Revision oh, naman. Oh, oh, Parang yung inspiration na lang yung yes, galing po. sa past. Yes po okay. ma'am. Okay. So that is appropriation. Now we go to the next elements and principles which is performance art. So pag mm-hmm. sinabi naman po natin ma'am na performance, performance. art, this is actually a performance evolved to emphasize spontaneous element of change. So, mm. an example din po nito, it actually refers to an art or art activities that are shown to live audiences and can combine different forms of art to create a more engaging art experience for the audiences. So, this is actually an interpretation of human activities wherein mm. pwede example niya rituals, pwede chores, pwede yung nakikita niyo sa socially relevant po like yung mga meron themes like in poverty, commercialism, mm-hmm. and war. Like yung nakikita po siguro natin ma'am in the rally. Uh-huh. So that is performance art oh, po. Pwede siyang makonsider yes, as po. performance art. Ayan. So mm-hmm. interpreting various human activities. Yan. Yung chores, rituals, uh, rituals. Yung pag sinabi ni natin about yung ginagawa sa stage nung mga mm-hmm. um, mga nag-rally. festivals. Yes, festivals po. pwede rin yes, po. Yes. Performance consider. art din mm-hmm. po yun. Basta po yung Uh, that is actually relevant, socially uh-huh. relevant po uh, yung team na ginagawa po nila na performance. Uh-huh. So, performance art po yun papasok. So, kasama dyan mo yung singing, dancing, yes, acting, po. All and po. all combined. Yes po, ma'am. <laughs> so, yun po. Yun uh-huh. po yung example ng performance art. Okay. Uh, yan po. The examples of uh, performance art. So, uh, uh-huh. In tablado, in the oh. streets, we can actually find it. Mm-hmm. Uh, yung mga, basta interpretative which can show mm-hmm. the socially relevant issues po. Mm-hmm. Yung mga ganon. Mm-hmm. So that is performance art. So ang pangatlo po, we have this what you call space. space. So as a, as, as a word itself po, ang sabi mm-hmm. sa space, this are the example of this one are uh, those 
uh, uh, part na in-install in a wide space. Wow. Uh, if you could actually, uh, pag pumunta po kayo, ma'am, siguro in Embarcadero, as mm-hmm. an ex, for example, mm-hmm. makikita nyo po doon yung kay Hadjong po ba yun? Ah, uh, so that is an true. example of okay. uh, a space. So nilagay po siya doon kasi that is, uh, kumbaga, uh, showing na rin po the people that mm-hmm. the, the history and the, uh, ano natin, Um, mm-hmm. the local history of yes. Bicol, mm-hmm. Albay. So, those are the examples po. Pwede din po yung ginawang very big na uh, uh, that is found po in ano, Manila, ta- KKK. Mm-hmm. And then, yung example din po no, uh, mobs is that yung, yung halimbawa po um, nag-create po sila ng ano yan, yung malaking flag. Ay, oh, oh, uh, that yes. is po example of flash mob. And if you could actually, uh, familiar po kayo dyan sa pangalawang picture, that is actually a local picture found in the Arimbay po or Padang. So, example din po yan ng space. space. Opo. So, yun po bagay yung mm-hmm. panahon ng riming. Ah, uh, before, okay. After the Bak- riming, mm-hmm. so linigay po siya dyan na statue. Mm-hmm. That, that sculpture po. So, that is an example po of a space mm-hmm. and elements and uh, principles. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, art form that is performed in position in a specific space such as public is called a space art. Space art. Uh, po, in mm-hmm. contemporary art. Okay po. So, number four po, we have this hybridity. Mm-hmm. So, pag sinabi naman po natin hybridity, this is actually a usage of unconditional materials. Mm-hmm. Mixing and unlikely materials to produce an artwork. So, ano po yung sinasabi natin unconventional materials? Pag sinabi po natin na ganun is that hindi po natin aakalain na that particular materials can be used for oh, an nga. art form. Halimbawa oh, po nito is that yung uh, Halimbawa, di ba ma'am yun sa, ano, sa coffee? Uh-huh. Oh, akala Ay, mo yung coffee na yun, yung, yung sachet ng coffee, yung mismong coffee, yes. hindi mo siya may, ano, ma- ma-explain na pwede pala siya gamitin Going, as painting yes, for miniature or sculpture. Mm-hmm. Such mm-hmm. as like this one in the screen po. Ganda. So, ganda po mm-hmm. ba gano? Then, mm-hmm. even po doon sa, this is actually po a, a sample uh, output of my student. Wow. Ayan. Ganda. So, uh, makikita nyo mm-hmm. mama, di ba yung ginapit niya or the scrap of pencil waste. Mm-mm, mm-mm. So, ginawa niya pong example as design for her, ano, gown. Ang ganda. Yun. So, mga hindi mo aakalain na pwedeng gamitin unconventional materials na pwede pala gamitin siya as for, art. for arts. Mm-hmm. So, example, coffee painting din po yan. So, those are example po. And that crayon, still, pares din po. And these, uh, yung mga waste coming from the par- puncher. Mm-hmm. Puncher po ba yun? Yung blue, ginawa niya po. Uh, example of mayon. Oh. So, those are example of hybridity po, ma'am. Hybridity. Opo. Mm-hmm. So, unconventional materials mm-hmm. na nagamit and transform into a new art. Mm-hmm. So, we have here again the last, uh, hindi, uh, yes, the last is the technology art. So, mm-hmm. usage of technology in creation and dissemination of works. So, makikita po natin yan usually in uh, Nung sa MTV po baga, this was the first, actually, 1981, ginamit po yun sa video interaction yung MTV mm. and at the same time yung video phenomenon na big push yung dibu yung sa YouTube. Mm-hmm. So, this is actually allowed with the internet connections mm-hmm. wherein they have to post and share videos. So, contemporary artists usually use this as uh, internet in a way of propagating art as well. Yes. So, may Uh-oh. mga ginamit sila na samples of uh, streaming, sharing, by uh, using this technology art po. Yes. So, may mara pa mga examples like that po, yung pag gumagawa tayo sa... Digital art yes. po ba? Mampasok dyan. Oo, papasok mm-hmm. po dyan sa technology art. Mm-hmm. And even yung mga lights na mm-hmm. ginagamit. Kahit po ba, so, yung pag, ano natin, example yung sa Dubai, Opo. yung nanalo si Pacquiao nyon, linagay yung, <laughs> yung flag ng Philippines. Ay, oo. Oh. Uh, so, those, is yung, yung, ano po yun, yung... Mga parang lightings. dancing lights. Yes, and, uh, so, ginamit uh, po effects. yun that time. So, technology art po, yun. Mm-hmm. Yun. 
So, yun po ma'am ang ating five elements and principles of contemporary, contemporary arts. arts. Wow, so, yun lang. interesting ng yes, mga po. ng contemporary arts at siguro may mga listeners tayo ang mga contemporary artists. Yes po. Ma'am. Maraming mga students ang magagaling <laughs> Magagaling dito. po sila ma'am. Yes. And ang okay. nakaka-amaze nga yung digital art. Ano ma'am? Yung yes, painting ma'am. na. Sila po yung gumawa oh. nun. In-invert nila mm-hmm. yung picture into a new Art form, form of art. Yes. yes. Yung pamangkin ko din. Nahilig gumagawa din ng mga anime character ah, yes, <laughs> using ma'am. digital art. So, oo. Maganda tong uh, i-explore pa natin. Ano? So, itong nga uh, napag-aralan natin ngayon, check natin kung may natutunan sila yes, sa ating po. pagbabalik. Magkakaroon po muna tayo ng short station break and we'll be back after a minute. Ikaw ay nakikinig sa FABC Philippines. Ngayon ay nagdiri tumput tatlong taong anibersaryo ng pagpapahayag ng mensahe ng pag-asa ng Diyos. DZMR 1143 Santiago City Care 3 The Way FM Legaspi City 702 DZAM Gamanila 98.7 DZFE Metro Manila 106.3 DZRK Quezon, Palawan 1233 DYVS Bacolod City Up 987 DYFR Cebu City 97.5 DYFE City 1116 DXAS Zamboanga City 106.9 DXGR Cotabato City 103.3 The New J Cagayan de Oro City 1197 DXFE Davao City 1062 DXKI Coronadal City at mga online broadcast sa Pinoy Connection at Now XD Nag-uumapaw ang pag-asa dito sa para lang bayan sa Himpapawid and we talked about contemporary Philippine arts from the regions under the subject pinag-usapan natin yung elements or principles of contemporary arts so balikan ko lang yung sinabi ni ma'am contemporary arts ay mga arts na ginawa ng mga sa modern times mga yes, buhay pa yes, <laughs> and uh, bago tayo mam pumunta sa activity batiin ko lang po ang ilan sa ating mga listeners and viewers so si ma'am Mirna Tambi yan, may pinapasabi kay ma'am Mary Grace Sabi niya, wow, so proud of my youngest daughter Mary Grace P. Araujo From Daragan National High School Galing Hello ma'am, Mirna Tambis Naging teacher ko pa yan si ma'am <laughs> And uh, sa iba pa nating mga students na humabol Hello from Epas Gas, EIM, STEM At saka nakita ko kanina nag uh, heart react si uh, Arjon, uh, Glace Loretta oh, Jan, sa CP Daraga Albay, hello sa inyo Jan. And sa iba pang mga students na watching with us, uh, stay tuned po. At uh, ito na may activity na sa atin na ibibigay si Ma'am. Oh, oh, madali <laughs> lang naman to kasi mm-hmm. di ba um, we already discussed, I, I already explained, I give examples of the five elements and principles of contemporary art. So yung activity natin is they will just evaluate po what contemporary art form based on the elements and principles na ibibigay ni ma'am doon sa mga examples. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we have here po a five uh, uh, examples and they will evaluate po kung ano po yung ginamit na contemporary art form. Mm-hmm. Okay po. So let's start, dear students. So let me read the first one. A shirt that features William Shakespeare who is considered by many to be the greatest writer in English language and written by the lit this so lit okay po so ano yon ano klase po na contemporary art form and number two we have group of students performing a flush mob and forming a star to celebrate their institutional centenary okay so that's number two mm-hmm. number three we have this crayons are engraved meticulously to create 
a uh, sculpture with different design. So, meron tayong example dun kanina, ma'am, di ba? Mm-hmm. So, ano yon? Ano yung klase ng contemporary art forms yon? And the number four, the use of video and internet for live streaming, video posting, sharing, and even recording performance. So, that's number four. And last, an international Filipino playing a dead person at the Philippine International Art Festival. So, yon. So, yun na lima, please il- give or evaluate what kind of contemporary art forms based on the elements and principles. Ano ba yun? Yung performance art, hybridity, technology art, um, appropriation, and space. space. Yes. So, now, sige nga, try po nga natin, <laughs> ma'am. Uh, magbabasa pa po yung mga students natin if mm-hmm. meron na silang sagot based Actually, on... meron na, ma'am. Oo, mabibilis Meron ang ating na. mga students. So, ang gagaling. Oo, oh, ang gagaling. Baka mag plus 5 si ma'am. Oo, oh, oh, yan. So, oh. babasahin ni ma'am mamaya yung mga sagot ninyo. So, uh, may sagot na ma'am si Chris K. Lorica, Max in Jerusalem, Joshua Corpus, oh, Joshua Hazel Corpus. Joy Bataan, Daniela Mayor, si Christine, Joanna, Cheryl, Diane, John, Charles, Russell. Ang dami. Oh. Wow, ang dami ng mga answers nila. So, ito Pare, po. Pareho, ma'am, yung sagot. Tingnan natin. <laughs> <laughs> so, sabi ni- ng uh, mga students, uh, si Arjun din may sagot na NC si Rain. Ito po ang answer nila. sa so, number one, a shirt that features William Shakespeare, who is considered by many to be the greatest writer in English language and written by like, uh, like so this. Lit. So So lit. Ang oh. ganda. Kasi ng so pagka- lit. Yeah. So, so literature. Oo nga. Tapos ano din, uso din siyang expression yes, ngayon. Po. Lit. Mm-hmm. So, ayan. Ang sagot nila, ma'am, appropriation. Appropriation. Okay. okay that's right. Ay, dagdag that's right ko talaga ako. <laughs> Opo. So, that's appropriation. Okay, number two. <laughs> ang sagot nila sa number two is space. Group of students performing a flash mob. Uh-oh. Kasi yung word of flash mob mm-hmm. is already there. And we discussed Oo, it kanina. The, that example is for space. space. Nag, okay, ano, tinansform. Ginamit yung space to perform an art. And si number three, sa number three, crayons are engraved meticulously to create sculpture. Kanina yung may example yeah, si ma'am oh, na oh. pinakita. So that is daw ma'am hybridity. Hybridity. Yes, it mm. is po. Mm. Hybridity. Yan. Oh, so, po. tama ulit sila, ma'am. At pang-apat, the use of video and internet for live streaming. Video. Yan. Oh, yun na. Ang sagot nila, technology, technology art. Technology art. Oh, mm. po. Tama din po si Alisa Maker Test. Oh, mm-hmm. po. Very good. So. And may mga humabol pa, ma'am, si Gwen, Angelica, Desiree, Clarice, Annie, at iba pa. Sa number five, an international Filipino playing a dead person at the Philippine International Art Festival. Ang sagot po nila ay performance art. Performance art. Okay po, that is correct po, ma'am. Uh, those uh, answers po ng students are all correct po. Wow. So, thank you very much students po kasi at least may natutunan at kahit sa small, uh, at least a uh, uh, small time natin, mm. at least naintindihan ninyo oh, what are the elements and principles of contemporary art. And you can actually use these things while create or doing or if you want to create your own uh, yes. canva or your own perfection arts. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Next excited tuloy ako. Siguro ang mga assignment at project dito ni Ma'am sa <laughs> subject na to ay yan, nakakatanggap kayo ng mga iba't ibang uri ng contemporary arts. Yes, ma'am. Arts. Minsan po, ma'am, ma-amaze mm-hmm. ka na lang na mm-hmm. wow, kumbaga yung, yung expected ano mo, Output. mas mm-hmm. nahigitan, nahigitan pa nila. Mm-hmm. So, I know po, all of the students, uh, all students po ngayon are very creative. Yes, I po. agree. Oo. Mm-hmm. Tsaka, ano po sila, kumbaga, they will not uh, actually stay in one put. Mm-hmm. Kumbaga, they actually, um, tawag dito, nag-explore uh, sila. Explore yes. a lot of things para at least mm-hmm. they will uh, mai ano nila yung nararamdaman oh. nila through their th- art through these arts. Yes, yeah, art so, um, create Ayun, mga art encourages us to think outside the box yes, or out po. of the box na mga oh, kasi dati art po baga, styles. Ma'am, oh, oh, mm-hmm. uh, students are uh, being, uh, kumbaga, tinuturoan sila na mm-hmm. sabi noon na ngayon daw, uh, students should think mm-hmm. inside the box. Uh-huh. But ngayon po, hindi na po yun. So mm-hmm. students are should or must <laughs> think 
outside yeah. the box. Kaya may mga unconventional arts na tayo ngayon yes, na po, talagang ang daming oh. na-discover na mga different oh, po, types ma'am. of arts. So, uh, this subject will help you appreciate more ang arts at saka, syempre, baka ma-discover pa nila, ma'am. Yes, po, ma'am. Yung kanila mga talents, talents. and skills. Oh, in, uh, yan. Different types of art. So, sa atin, ma'am, napagtatapos, meron po ba kayong assignment? Uh, mm-hmm. Yes po, ma'am. So, doon sa assignment ko, I will just give you or will just send you the link uh, below. Identify the different media used by the artist in hybrid data arts. Mm-hmm. And you should uh, write it in your notebooks and maybe just send it to me or PM it to me. Uh, via messenger. Wow. So, si send na lang yan ni ma'am yes, na po. link. Medyo mahaba-haba <laughs> kasi ma'am yung link eh. Oo, oh, oh, maraming <laughs> mga <laughs> ipapakita dyan. So, ayan, may nagpapashout out ma'am. Sige, uh, shout out naman siya. natin. Shout out po ma'am sa Yums 2. Si John Romeo. <laughs> si Baltasar Galang. Oo. Oh, oh. oh. Hello John. Oh, kamusta <laughs> naman dyan yung defense? <laughs> wow, nagdi-defend pala Tapos, sila. Tapos tapos kasi sila ma'am. Kaya masaya na sila mm-hmm. sa defense. <laughs> Congratulations <laughs> sa mga graduates. Graduating, mag-complete uh, na yung iba. Yes po. Oo, yung iba naman uh, moving up. Yan. Opo, so, ma'am. Malapit na matapos ma'am ang, ang school year. Uh, yes kailan po. po ang last na uh, pasok ng ating mga uh, students from the Raga National High School? Graduation po namin, um, uh, I think it's July 4. Mm-hmm. So, baka po end of June or June, mm-hmm. July 1, mm-hmm. tapos na po sila. Yes. Uh, kasi uh-huh. they have to prepare, prepare pa po namin yung mga forms for <laughs> graduation. Ang <laughs> compute na ng grades. Yes, Oo. So, yung Kaya mga medyo busy teachers. Uh, busy, busy, busy ang mga teachers ngayon. Oh, wow. Siguro yung mga students and busy din mag-comply yes, sa kanilang mga requirements. Oh, oh. So, maraming maraming salamat. Ano, hanggang sabi po pala ng ating RBI coordinator hanggang next week po, mayroon pa din po tayong paaralang bayan sa Impapawid. So, uh, join us again from uh, Monday to Friday next week para sa ating, ah, hanggang Saturday po pala, paaralang bayan sa Impapawid. Pawid. And tomorrow po pala, wala po muna tayong paaralang bayan sa Himpapawid na reading because uh, it'll give way to our uh, 74th uh, FEBC anniversary celebration. So manood din po kayo, inaanyayahan namin kayo manood from 8 to 11.30 po yan. So ngayon naman po ma'am, uh, sa ating pagtatapos, baka meron pa kayong gustong uh, I remind sa ating mga students bago tayo pumunta sa ating uh, pabaon. Uh, okay, mm-hmm. uh, I just want to remind all my students to please send your attendance to me and screenshot <laughs> it because sabi ko nga kanina, meron po akong plus points. Wow, eh, plus uh, points. Oh, para ano na yun, graduation gift na rin yun sa kanila, ma'am. Mm-hmm. Wow. So, congratulations <laughs> again, dear so, students. So, graduating oh, dyan. Uh-huh. So, thank you din po, Ma'am Grace. And uh, sa ating pong uh, pagtatapos, syempre, meron pa sa ating inspirational thought na ibibigay si Ma'am Grace. Nabusog ka ba sa kaalaman at karunungan? Hindi pa tapos yan. Narito ang Pabaon ni Teacher. Okay, for Pabaon, for inspirational thought, the art of being happy is to be satisfied with what you have. So, as we all know, we must believe in the fact that life is short mm-hmm. and we have to live in such a way that we are satisfied with the way we spend every minute, every moment. Mm-hmm. So, sa aking mga students, ma'am, I always told them na um, kailangan maging masaya kahit <laughs> nahihirapan tayo. Kailangan bumangon, kailangan tayong lumaban at lahat ng ginagawa natin dapat satisfy tayo kasi hindi natin alam kung kailan at hanggang kailan tayo sa mundong ibabaw. Yun mm-hmm. lang po. Wow. Oo, oh, oo, oh, oh. So, ang ganda ng babaon sa atin ni Ma'am. Oo, oh, oh. aside sa we create something na you know, not just to comply siguro yes, sa ating po. mga <laughs> requirements. Oh, requirements, but you, you do it out of joy out of masaya ka dahil nailabas mo yung mm-hmm. skill mo yung talent mo doon and then in, satisfied ka din sa iyong output, output. di ba ma'am yes po mm-hmm. oh, oh. 
iba din yung pakiramdam pag satisfied ka sa naipasa mo. Hindi nang dahil sa ano ka napilitan or nagra-rush ka, hindi mo nailabasan yung gusto mong Ipakita. ipakitang skill or talent. So, ayan sa mga students, that's a very uh, friendly and gentle reminder to appreciate your uh, what you're doing at school and to stay happy yes po always <laughs> kahit chale- may challenges oh, um, so thank you po ma'am and sabi ni Trisha May Alim thank you daw ma'am Grace uh, sabi din po ni Jessa May Seven Noseda thank you ma'am Grace thank you po other mm-hmm. students okay <laughs> so sa ating pagtatapos. Sige po, siguro uh, maganda ipag-pray natin yung ating mga students at syempre yung mga graduating students natin. So, join us for a short prayer. So, let's pray. Lord, uh, maraming salamat po sa hapong ito na nakasama na- namin ang mga estudyante kahit through online and through radio. At nakasama din po namin si Ma'am Grace. And uh, salamat po sa pinagkaloob mo po mga skills and talents sa bawat isa And we pray, God, that this uh, art, this artwork, Lord God, ay maging blessing and inspiration to many. And as we do our job, do our task sa school man or saan man po kami, help us, Lord, na uh, ma-exercise pa po namin yung creativity na binigay mo po at pinagkaloob sa amin. And may you continue to inspire our teachers na uh, patuloy po silang bigyan ng kalakasan. Ganon din po ang mga students, Lord God. May you bless them and their families sa kanilang pakikinig this afternoon. We pray for strength and healing sa mga may sakit and we pray, Lord, for wisdom sa mga nag-aaral, Panginoon, at nagtatrabaho. Maraming maraming salamat, Panginoon. This is our prayer. In Jesus' name, Amen. 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 Again, thank you po, thank Ma'am you, Grace. Thank you po. For joining us and salamat for din po. <laughs> teaching us. Ang dami namin na tutunan sa contemporary art. So, baka may gusto pa po kayong uh, batiin. <laughs> uh, okay po. Uh, Bali, uh, I would like to thank po. Gusto ko lang po pasalamatan aking Daraga National High School family sa pupumuno po ng aming mabutiing uh, principal, Ma'am Luders Arvikas, at sa kanyang dalawang butihin at masigasig na assistant principal, Ma'am Merli and Lupo, and Ma'am Lenny Buragay. Pati na rin po sa mga kasamahan ko po sa Senior High School mm-hmm. Department. Lalong-lalo po na po sa son, uh, social sciences group. So, mm-hmm. thank you po and salamat po sa suporta. And yes. sa family ko na rin po. Hello to my mother dear. <laughs> Ma'am Merle Temis and to my kids po, si uh, Jasper Liam, Trisha Daniel, and si Aiden Kyle. Wow, Malay na ang gaganda ng mga Opo. names. So. so, salamat po ma'am sa pag-invite ay sa... Uh, opportunity to yes. be here again in 104.3 mm-hmm. DWA FM. Yes. So, Likewise, ma'am. Opo, Welcome. Pangatlong po. beses ko na po. <laughs> <laughs> Oo, sanay na sanay na si ma'am mag-broadcast. Opo, medyo... Na- <laughs> Berjo, kinakabahan pa rin po, ma'am. <laughs> okay lang po yan, ma'am. So, um, naging, ano po, mas, masagana, <laughs> naging productive oh, po ang ating natin. discussion this afternoon. Kasama si Ma'am Grace, syempre, at ang ating mga uh, senior high school students. So, thank you for joining us this afternoon. And also, salamat sa ating technical team kay Kuya June Apinado and kay Marjorie Pokua. So, sa hapong ito thank po ay magpapaalam muna kami ni Ma'am yes, Grace. Po. At magbabalik po tayo sa ating second subject dito sa Care 104.3 The Way FM. Paalam bayan sa Himpapawid. Bye!